Hello, Dawes Road family, and to those of you who've tuned in, welcome in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In our four-minute Bible boosters, Rev Bites, we want you to be encouraged in your walk with Jesus. We call them Rev Bites because they're little bites from Scripture from the book of Revelation, so Rev Bites. These, this little Rev Bite is from Revelation chapters 2 and 3, and if I could just summarize the thought here, it is this, Jesus wants you to be successful. Jesus wants you to be successful. Uh, not in the eyes of the world, but in His eyes and in the eyes of the Father. Um, you're probably looking at my desk today and thinking, Arnie, this is kind of a strange setup here. You've got a pair of old basketball sneakers and a basketball here. And the reason why that is because it has a name on it. It's actually called Hyper Nike basketball shoes. There is a hyper, uh, hyper elite Nike basketball. Hyper Nike is actually a biblical term. Hyper means more than or over. Um, Nike means actually a winner, an overcomer, successful. Nike. I mean, it's a term that the Apostle Paul used when he said, considering all the difficulties that may come in our lives, no, in all these things we are hyper Nike, more than conquerors through him who loved us. That's the word, hyper Nike. You see, Jesus wants you to be successful spiritually in his eyes. So how do I do that? How do I become successful in the eyes of Jesus? Well, Jesus dictated seven letters to seven churches in Revelation chapters 2 and 3. And they're not just for those seven churches. No, by extension, it is not. Th those letters were to be read to all the churches. Each individual letter was to be uh, read to all the churches and by extension to us as well to encourage us to be successful in the eyes of Jesus. So let me give you the seven thoughts very quickly here. Number one, love Jesus. We can be so busy in our lives and even busy in ministry, we forget that we need to have a passion and a love for Jesus. So number one, love Jesus and Jesus will consider you successful. Number two, don't give up. If you don't give up, Jesus will consider you successful. Number three, stick to the truth without compromise. Sometimes when things get difficult, we try to find an excuse, <laughs> sometimes make a little compromise so that we can find some kind of enjoyment in the midst of our trials. But no, stick to the truth. Truth is more important than a party. Stick to the truth without compromise and Jesus will consider you successful. Along with that, hold on and don't mess around. Hold on and don't mess around. Jesus will consider you successful. <laughs> Fifthly, stay awake and active. Stay awake and active by the power of the Spirit and by the Word of God. Stay awake and active and Jesus will consider you successful because of your service to Him as you continue on. Sixthly, He says to this church that feels so weak and so push down. He says simply this, hold on, hold on, hold on, and you will be successful in the eyes of Jesus. And then finally, the last church, he says this, open the door to Jesus. Open the door to Jesus. Don't get to such a point in your life where you say, I don't need Jesus. I can do this and I can do that for myself. I don't need Jesus. No, you need Jesus. I need Jesus. So open the door to Jesus and Jesus will consider you successful. So seven ways of being considered successful in the eyes of Jesus. And that's the only thing that really matters in, in life and in eternity. So love Jesus. Don't give up. Stick to the truth. Hold on and don't mess around. Stay awake and active in your service to Jesus. Hold on and open the door to Jesus. Now, God willing, we'll take a look at the reward that Jesus gives to those who are hyper Nike, those who are successful in his eyes. And may the Lord bless you as you walk faithfully with Jesus for his glory. For Christ is risen. He is risen indeed.